Many Long Islanders caring for relatives with Alzheimer's or dementia worry about them wandering away from home. As we reported yesterday, a man who had dementia and had been missing for two days was found dead in Stony Brook. Well, tonight, our Avery Harper tells us about a program in Suffolk to help find missing relatives. And if you hear the loudest audible beep is still coming here, so we believe that the missing client is in here. At the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, they are demonstrating how Project Lifesaver can locate a loved one with cognitive impairments. And this device takes us right to the transmitter. We've been able to locate uh, individuals within 15 minutes after it was reported to us. Sheriff Errol Toulon Jr. tells me the program started 10 years ago. People with cognitive impairments are given these bracelets to wear and through a radio frequency, the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office can find them. But this is an opportunity and a tool for them to use to assist them in, in, in the caregiving of their loved ones. Gail Storm from the Long Island Alzheimer's Foundation thinks it's a good idea. Particularly for people that have dementia, um, even early stages, at any point they might start wandering. Um, so it's really important to be able to, to know where they are and, and to track them the, the minute that you discover that they are lost. After the death of 74-year-old John Weil found dead in Stony Brook after he left his home, Sheriff Toulon hopes that this program will help ease the fear of a loved one vanishing. They know that within minutes if their loved one is missing, they can contact us and we can locate them. There's, there's some sort of peace of mind. To participate in Project Lifesaver, all you have to do is fill out an application here at the Sheriff's Office. The device itself costs $300. In Riverhead, Avery Harper, News 12, Long Island.